So as we move to being a city of a million people, we need to think about ways that we can move people more efficiently. The bus on the, uh, uh, up here has the same capacity as all of the cars in this picture. So this presentation is about bus rapid transit, what it is, the places where it's working really well, and some of the ideas we can steal to, uh, to use here in Edmonton. Uh, this presentation came together uh, through the Edmonton Transit Service Advisory Board, uh, which I was a part of a, a few years ago. Uh, they're a really great group if you haven't heard of them. They advocated for the 747 bus before, uh, bef while it was just an idea, and the low-income transit pass, so take a look into them if you can. So bus rapid transit uh, has fast frequent service, and it does this by providing dedicated lanes uh, you can take a look here at, uh, at some examples where it's working well. But that speeds people up and you zoom past uh, cars, but you can also speed people up with paying before you board by having the platform at the same level as the bus. And there are other really low cost solutions that bus rapid transit in the places where it's been really successful have used, like different kinds of marketing having maps that are clear so you know where you're starting from and where you're going, like the LRT maps uh, the, that we use now, uh, and bus timers. One of the things that we found at the Transit Advisory Board was that people just wanted to know when the next bus was coming. They wanted buses, if you missed one, to know that you were gonna get another one in about 15 minutes, uh, but also to not just be stranded while you were waiting for it. So why should we think about this now? Well, this is the greatest time to think about how transit works in Edmonton because we have three levels of government who are really interested in transforming the way that we move and live in our communities. Uh, we're also transitioning in Edmonton to an urban style LRT. Uh, so if you've heard about the Mill Woods line, it's gonna be different than the Century Park line. The Century Park line was really focused on how do you move people as quickly as possible. But the these urban style LRT, uh, which are gonna go out to Mill Woods, are really about how do you create a community. The, the trains will move at about the pace of a regular car, the stations will be smaller and they'll be closer together, and that really lends itself well to, uh, to thinking about how buses could be used in place of the LRT. And it, we know now that, uh, that bus rapid transit is about one third of the cost of the LRT. So if we have a finite amount of money, we need to think about how we can supplement our existing LRT expenditure with, uh, with some bus rapid transit and how we can use it to get to more places. Cleveland is a really good example. They leveraged their single line of bus rapid transit to, into a $5.8 billion uh, investment in, uh, in, the, in the stations, around the stations uh, through development. And that's really what we're trying to do here in Edmonton. Another really great example is in Ottawa. If you've been to Ottawa, you've definitely heard of the transit way. The transit way moves 200,000 people a day. The, uh, the dedicated lanes converge uh, as you get closer to downtown, and so a lot of buses touch them. And Ottawa's uh, sometimes cited as an example of kind of uh, being a victim of its own success. Uh, now the, some of the bus rapid transit routes are being converted into LRT and there's, because they've just become overcrowded. Then there are some really bad examples. And I had a picture of, uh, of Calgary from my time there uh, with a system that they, uh, that they called bus rapid transit. But luckily, this is a Calgary marketing photo of how they plan to fix the bus rapid transit. It still looks terrible. So uh, I was able to use that. Uh, well, they didn't, uh, use, uh, they didn't use dedicated lanes. That's really gonna slow down the buses. Uh, originally, they just, had, uh, they just had plain stations and they didn't have different kinds of marketing for the bus rapid transit, or the marketing was the only thing that was different, and so uh, that worked really poorly. But you can see in places where it's worked really well, uh, this is a city in Brazil that has two million riders per day in a city of eight million people, and that's by just integrating bus rapid transit into the street, giving it dedicated lanes, and creating a marketing and a culture that's really transformed the city. And we see this happening now in more and more cities around the world and really close to home. Uh, so Winnipeg is the latest adopter of bus rapid transit in Canada, and uh, they built their stations into overpasses. And this is a really great uh, photo here. Uh, you can see there's a highway uh, below where this overpass station is, and you can see that you can find out when the next bus is going to come. 
uh, Winnipeg spends about half of what we spend on their transit system and, uh, and are still able to move people around really quickly. So where would you put bus rapid transit? I think we can't think about uh, trying to spend less money on transit. Rather, we should think about how we could complete the LRT network three times as fast. And this is really the time to think about it and talk about it. The Edmonton uh, transit strategy has just come out, and it really focuses on having less routes, uh, making them more frequent, maybe not getting a bus to every door, but, uh, but making, focusing on routes that could really succeed. And they're gonna be looking for feedback on where those routes should go and how they should look. And I hope that bus rapid transit is one of the uh, tools that, they, that, uh, that we advocate for. And it really could transform the city. This is a photo of, of Blatchford, um, but the LRT isn't scheduled to go there at all right now. It's in some of the renderings, but, uh, but is, is a long ways off. So, so where would you put bus rapid transit is the, is the real question here. Uh, Vancouver is a great example. They bought some underused rail lines like we have uh, running along by Gateway, and they plan to make that into a transit corridor. Could you add a lane to a really congested street and put bus rapid transit down that? Or could you connect downtown to, uh, to White Avenue, which is a, a passion of mine? So I hope that we take a look at other cities and how they're using their transit systems and take some ideas for Edmonton and think about how, as a city, where we're going and how we're gonna get there. Thank you.